What if the toothpaste you brush with every single morning, the product you trust to keep your mouth clean and your breath fresh, could actually be staining your teeth and stripping away the natural protection of your enamel? Millions of people are brushing twice a day because this is what we've been told since childhood and unknowingly making their smiles look darker, not brighter. Let's dig into the science because once you understand what's hidden in that little active ingredient box, you'll never look at toothpaste the same way again. First, fluoride. Not all fluorides are the same. Sodium fluoride is the classic protector against cavities, a safe option that usually doesn't leave any residue behind on your teeth. But there's a stannous fluoride stronger against bacteria and gum disease, yet notorious for causing extrinsic staining, leaving that brownish streaks on your enamel. It looks just like a coffee or tea buildup. Imagine polishing a white marble countertop with the cleaner that leaves a yellow haze. Yes, it disinfects, but it also discolors. Now let's talk about abrasives. Silica and calcium carbonate are the gritty polishers in your paste. A fine grit can smooth the surface like buffing glass, but a coarse grit is like sandpaper, thinning that enamel until the yellow dent in underneath begins to show through. Have you ever noticed that after years of using whitening paste, your teeth look darker, not lighter? That's often the reason. Baking soda, on the other hand, works differently. It doesn't scrub, it shifts the chemistry, raising the pH so acids don't erode the enamel, and it slows bacteria from their growth. It's gentle, but itself, it doesn't protect against cavities, which is why most people still need fluoride support. Whitening paste often rely on hydrogen peroxide, which releases oxygen and breaks stain molecules apart. It works, but at a higher strength, it can irritate your gums as well, especially if you've already had recession or types of sensitivity already. And then there's sodium lauryl sulfate, the foamy agent that makes toothpaste feel powerful, even though it doesn't clean. For many, it irritates the delicate tissues and can trigger recurring canker sores, something you never expect from a toothpaste. Now, what about trendy natural paste? Charcoal may look exotic, but scrubbing with ash and grit is like rubbing your enamel with soot covering sandpaper, wearing it down and embedding those particles into your gums. Clay-based and herbal formulas can freshen your mouth, but many lack the cavity protection we know that fluoride provides. Here's how I want you to picture it. Your enamel is a clear piece of glass laid over a yellow surface. When that glass is thick and smooth, your smile shines white and bright. But when acids, abrasives, or staining agents roughen or discolor that glass, the yellow beneath shines through. No whitening paste can undo that damage. So here's the bottom line. Toothpaste isn't a one-size-fits-all. If cavities are your concern, sodium fluoride is reliable. If gum problems are your struggle, stannous fluoride can help. But be aware of its staining. If whitening is your goal, use controlled low abrasive polishers and mild peroxide, not daily, but in rotation. Baking soda can be a gentle adjunct, but it can't replace fluoride. And if you're prone to mouth ulcers, scan the label for sodium lauryl sulfate and choose a formula without it. The smartest strategy is rotation. Just like you don't want to wear the same pair of shoes to the gym, to work, and to a wedding, don't use the same pace for every knee. Because brushing twice a day is more than a habit. It's a treatment. You're giving your teeth for the rest of your life. Make the wrong choice and you'll pay for it with stains, enamel loss, and costly dental work down the road. Now most toothpaste that you find on the shelf, like Colgate, Crest, Sensodyne, aren't just one thing. They usually combine several ingredients in one tube. A fluoride for cavity protection, an antibacterial agent for gum health, 
uh, sometimes whitening compounds for stain removal. So while I'm breaking these ingredients down separately, saying this one does this or that one does that, just remember, the most commercial toothpaste are blends of multiple functions of one product. And what matters is understanding what each ingredient does. So you can choose the formula that's best for your own teeth and gums. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.